to really pump some light into this area. Uh, got the wall up, and that really, really blocked the light. So I got some good light from below. Uh, it does add shadows, but we're going to get back on this today. I've got uh, new materials. I have the I have the flooring to go in. I have that to, to finish that off. Um, I have mud to finish mudding all these seams, and I have the pocket door and have the light. And a bunch of fittings to get up. So today, I will get the light in, get it wired. Um, we're going to get the uh, rest of the mortar board on the floor. I'm going to get it in. I'm going to get all of the seams um, knocked off and sanded. And a new coat of mud on those. And going to get the pocket door up and possibly get the drywall on the inside and outside of those. Now hopefully by the time I get done today I'll have everything wired and plumbed out into the attic space and then every day I will just make a quick run on the on the seams on the drywall. I'll uh, sand and recoat and that's a quick process and then the rest of the day that can dry and I'll go out into the attic space. I'll have a light to light that up. I'm going to put enough uh, uh, wood out so that I don't have to crawl around on rafters. And so I'm going to get everything so that it's out into that attic space and then I'll just work in that area. So that's the plan. Uh, See what happens. Things are moving along real good. So let's get with it. Okay, we're going to take a look here. I want to show something to you. Here we are. Uh, so, yeah, speaker talking to me, but we're going to take a look here. I've uh, got some more work done, but um, I'm working on the light. I'm going to need some more uh, wire to completely finish that out but what I wanted to show you was on these new slim lights they have a, they have a box that you install and it is separate from the light let me get this out here so I can show you this now this it actually goes in the opening but before you put it in the opening, you want to make sure you put this switch in the correct position. Now over to the left all the way in the blue area, that's more of a white light. That's, colors look more natural. Now if you go all the way to the right, that's more of like the light put off by fire. 
more yellow look. Now I have automated lights that use the old bucket type um, um, fixtures. They're not this slim line. So I use regular light bulbs in those, but the light bulbs I use are Wi-Fi enabled. So I can change the color of those just by using my Google Home. I just tell it what color to change. Now there's a video, I have videos on my channel that show you how to get those and how to set those up. And I'll be doing some more videos in the future on that. So anyway, I wanted to show you that before you install a light like this, you can change the color of light before you put it in. Okay, here's the end of work day today. Good thing I came back up. Didn't close my lid. And I got some more sanding done. And the light will be coming back out, but it's sitting in there now to fill the hole. I have figured out this where all this rough stuff comes together, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna drop this ceiling down one inch, across, all the way across here. That'll completely do away with this, these odd angles. And I have the pocket door in. Um, I reused some drywall that came off of the wall initially now we'll see how that turns out I don't know that I'm going to keep that we'll see if I can get it smooth enough then we'll keep it but I'm definitely not uh, I don't have to keep it but we'll, we'll see uh, I'm trying to save as much money as I can on this the cost of lumber and supplies has really really gone up even since a couple of weeks ago on some jobs that I've done it's gone up even higher so this is where we're at there's a pocket door that doesn't have the door in it but and I have to put the drywall on this side still have to frame in the other side over here going to be just a little four inch uh, just big enough to cover the uh, switch box actually that's all it's going to be so anyway that's where we're at for now still rough but definitely coming along and we'll see what we can do tomorrow uh, let's quit for today all right.
Okay, get you caught up on the nursery. I have been working on it. I've just been uh, putting, uh, I'm trying to perfect the drywall. I want it to be really nice. I'm trying to do one of my best finishes on this one. So, um, taking it real slow. I've got time. I'm working steady on it. I put a coat on it um, sometimes in the mornings. And I give it 24 hours. I come back and hit it again in 24 hours. It's the best way to do it, actually. Usually I don't have the luxury of doing it that way, but this time I do. Uh, it's starting to look really nice. Uh, I'm going to knock off some high spots, do some sanding. Um, I'm going to hit it with my big knife today, which means I'll be spreading that, that mud out over a larger area, thinner, and hopefully uh, blending everything in getting that final uh, that final finished look to it and I will be starting the process of getting out into the attic space getting the attic space ready for me to go out there make all the connections and do the work necessary out there secure everything really nice uh, I want to make sure that um, all the work out in that area is um, is nice and secure and up to code so uh, I'm gonna make a good working space out there so that when I'm out there I can do a, 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 the best job that I can do so let's get to it starting to come together now. I need some drywall here. I need my light fixture there. I do have all the power run to, the, to this wall and the power is actually ran to this ground fault. It just isn't installed yet and I have it capped at the end of the wall. So it's just ready to go. Power is on 
here, the light's in, power's on. The issue that I had with drywall up here is really starting to come together. This is just a real heavy coat that I put on. It's supposed to be sanded this morning. Uh, and it actually sands out really nice. I'm just trying to cover some uh, broader areas uh, to make the transition a little smoother. But it actually sands out really nice. I could have left it without doing this, but uh, trying to get it even better. But it's coming together really nice. Uh, like I say, it hasn't been sanded out this morning. This will probably be the final sand on it. Um, there's heavy again in that corner. And that's just uh, loading it up, trying to cover um, so that I have uh, something to sand down. But it sands down really nice. So... Um, that's where we're at now and back to a stopping point basically until I purchase more supplies. So there we go. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Hey, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and you would like to be notified when I have new content, hit the subscribe button and if you hit that little bell icon, you'll be notified when I have new content that becomes available. I'm going to be updating uh, the, um, I'm going to be updating this little nursery bathroom and I have some other videos coming out. I'm going to be working on a ceiling fan, so uh, remember, they might do it another way, but that's the way I do it. We'll see you next time.